gonna let you know now, this is probably going to be a very quick video. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back and today I'm going to be talking about the second to last episode in season 11 of Doctor Who, It Takes You Away, episode 9, and wow, this was, in my opinion, a very great episode, but before we get into my thoughts on this episode, I will say that I'm probably going to try to do this as quick as I can because this is actually like a couple hours, I'm filming this a couple hours after I have already finished watching, filming, editing, and uploading the episode, so I'm a little bit tired. I spent all day at a theme park, so I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible, but I also wanna talk a little bit about what happened in last week's episode, just to kinda catch everybody up. That's what I do here. But in last week's episode, the Doctor and the Companions are stuck in the 17th century in the middle of a witch hunt that is only propelled even further by the arrival of King James I, played so brilliantly by Alan Cummings, and I absolutely, Alan Cumming? Jeez. Okay. I absolutely loved his performance in that episode. That was probably what I really liked about that episode the most. It wasn't like my favorite episode. I was kind of bored through the entire thing. I just felt like they didn't do a whole lot of build up throughout. It just was kind of boring up until the last maybe 15 minutes when we really get to see who the big bat is. Nothing super special, but this week's episode was super great. I absolutely loved it. In this episode, the Doctor and the Companions find themselves in Norway in 2018 and come across a slightly abandoned, boarded up house that they find a young girl who is blind inside, searching or trying to figure out what happened to her father. The build up with the mystery was really cool. The Doctor figuring it out was all really interesting and it was a very standard episode of Doctor Who, but what really got me was the ending that I will talk about in the next section, which contains spoiler. I don't have a whole lot to say about this episode besides the fact that I actually really, really loved it. The lead up with the mystery is really great. The writing throughout is very solid and you get a really great sense of closure at the end with what happens between Ryan and Graham with what happens for Graham the entire episode pretty much, or for the majority of the end of the episode. But it's such a great, solid episode overall. It is very much a basic Doctor Who episode, but I am very glad that we are getting back into these very standard episodes now that we are at the end of the season. We only have one episode left, and I will talk about what I think is gonna happen in that episode later on, but this episode, Pretty good, not a whole lot to say. Companions wise, this was a great episode for each companion. They all had little moments that were very character building for themselves, especially Graham and especially Ryan. The two of them had a really great, great episode building up their characters as well as building up their relationship. Yaz had pretty much one kind of moment that was her own and then she had another moment earlier on in the episode, a little bit of teaching Ryan how to deal with children because Ryan is not very good with children and he's putting a lot of, he's just projecting a lot of his own issues with his father onto what is happening with the little girl and it's just, it kind of puts him off on the wrong foot with her but then in the end because of what Yaz teaches him and tells him he has a lot better job of connecting with her and helping her find her father. As for Yaz, she has a really great solid character moment when she starts to think and act like the doctor a little bit, which is great and it is very much expected for Yaz's character because she is a very strong and independent woman. She wants to prove herself and she's following in the doctor's footsteps, which I absolutely love and I can't wait to see more of that from her. And Ryan and Graham have this really great bonding moment at the end where Ryan finally calls Graham granddad because of what happened between Graham and Grace in the portal. And it's such a touching moment to finally see them, see all the culmination of the two of them working together, but not really, and Ryan still kind of pushing Graham away at the end of it all. Really kind of bonding and coming together and the two of them understanding that Grace may be gone, but they still have each other to kind of build themselves up and help keep each other strong. And it was just such a beautiful moment to me. But at the end of it all, I feel like it just, because of the way the writing has been throughout this past season, I feel like in the next episode, they will be back to normal, kind of butting heads a little bit, which I'm not too excited about. It just feels a little, uh, just kind of oh, the same old thing. But I really hope that 
they stick with the two of them being kind of bonded already together. As for some theories for this episode, or for the last episode of this season, I guess I should say, I don't really have very many. I am very curious though to see what the finale is going to be like. I did watch a little bit of the teaser at the end of this episode, and it didn't really give a whole lot of way give a whole lot away besides the fact that there's going to be this call that they are in search of that's coming from like seven different galaxies or something. I don't know. I tried to pay as little bit of attention to it as I could. That way I could be a little bit surprised when I watch it next Sunday. I don't really know what to expect. I really hope that it's going to bring all of these loose ends that we have been seeing the last probably almost of this season, bring them and kind of compile them all together and tie them up. But from the way that this season has been going, I feel like that's not necessarily going to happen. So it's probably just going to be its own little standalone episode that will combine or come back into maybe the New Year's finale or the New Year's special and the beginning of the next season. I don't know. I really hope so, but I'm not like hoping for everything to be tied up because that would be a little weird. <sighs> I don't know. And finally, my favorite moment in this episode it actually is a compilation of a lot of what happens with Graham throughout this entire thing. He did, he had such a great character moment. He had had so many great character moments in this episode. I absolutely loved him. And he proved why I, my prediction at the beginning of this season, why I predicted Graham would be my favorite character of this series, of this season. He just had some great one-liners. He's always had some really great one-liners. The first one is when he is offering Hane a sandwich. He says, he's like, are you hungry? I always have a cheese and pickle sandwich on me. And Ryan, they sit down at the table, give her the sandwich, and Ryan's like, you always have a sandwich on you? And Graham kind of talks a little bit, talks a little bit about, he learned the hard way that they don't necessarily find food all that often when they leave the TARDIS so he always leaves the TARDIS prepared with a sandwich because he does get a little hangry sometimes and you don't like him when he's hangry and I just love that because it does harken back to a couple episodes ago where he keeps bugging the doctor for food I think it's actually the Demons of the Punjab episode where he keeps asking for food or so it's around that time he keeps asking for food and he just is not finding it at all. That's where he learned his lesson that he has to keep food with him and carry food whenever he leaves the TARDIS because who knows when they're gonna eat. And my next favorite moment with Graham is when he finally comes back to his Graham self and questions the doctor if it's safe and there's this little quote that I absolutely love. He says, hey doc, you think this is safe? And the doctor replies, I doubt it. It's a juddering dimensional portal and a mirror in a Norwegian bedroom, which I absolutely love that little moment because it's just the doctor acknowledging that Graham is constantly telling her or asking, is this okay? Is this safe? And she continues to just do her own thing because that's what the doctor does. And Graham will continue to ask if it's safe because that's what the, that's what the Graham does. Another moment that I absolutely loved, which is super funny, was when the doctor was trying to get Hane to stay and not go into the portal. She said, it's already lured in Graham. And Graham replies back, it has not. I didn't give him my credit card details. And I just thought that was a really great quote from Graham because it's just, it feels very much like something Graham would say. And the way he delivered it was so funny and absolutely just, I just love Graham. And I know a lot of people have theories that he's not going to stay. He might die in this last episode of the season or maybe even in the new year special but i really hope all of these characters stay throughout maybe another season or so because they're just some really great companions i just love all three of them together and my final favorite grand moment from this episode was when he lets grace go for once and for all when he realizes that it is just the solo tracked projection of her and that she wouldn't leave Ryan kind of stranded and fending for himself. She would charge headfirst, the way Yaz said, into that mirror, trying to help him, trying to help Hane, and it's just such a beautiful, touching moment. I actually started tearing up. I, I just loved it so much because it's just a beautiful arc for Grimm. He does seem a little bit sad and depressed at the end of that, but I think that is mostly just because he's kind of come to terms with what happened and he's going to start to move on but he also realizes that he has Ryan to help him through all that along with Yaz and the doctor. And that is everything I have for this episode of Doctor Who. I can't wait to see what 
will happen next episode, the season finale, as well as in the New Year special. Let me know any of your theories in the comments down below based on either what I have said in this episode or the teaser trailer that they showed at the end of this episode or anything like that, anything you may have read. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your theories for the rest of this season. And maybe let me know your favorite moment of this episode or maybe just your favorite moment of the season so far. Let me know. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, truly do appreciate every single one of you. Let me know who you are in the comments down below and let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I love talking about movies, TV shows, filmmaking, film history, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.